With the evolution of YouTube creating an overabundance of video journals, aka vlogs, I decided to take a look back at some of the best. Now, obviously, Lonely Girl 15 was one of the most popular this year. But, as riveting as that whole thing was, I would rather focus on people that are actually real. Anyway, with that, I bring you the top vloggers of 2006. Number five, Mr. Pregnant. Claim to fame. Can't see my penis anymore. Mr. Pregnant is a vlogger that leaves you scratching your head and wondering, A, what does this man do for a living? And B, who impregnated him? I won't go so far as to say that he's a genius, but the use of his man boobs? Truly inspired. I will be ranting and raving very loudly for a few moments and then I will calm down enough to speak in a rational manner. Number four, Bohemian. Claim to fame, opinionated young man, possible independent filmmaker in the works. Hmm? My f***ing roommate can't pay his rent. Well, Bohem, we gotta hand it to you for sticking a goatee into just about everything from dating to balloon shout outs and rants on haters slash spammers. Is nothing sacred to you guys? Number three, Lisa Nova. Claim to fame? Some people say it's because she's pretty. Now, I don't care if you go for the good looks, but what you're gonna get are some really clever, well edited, funny little snippets. What's up, y'all? It's Lisa Nova here. I'm about to go to my local fruit stand. Can I get some fruit? Fruity. Photos, everything. Me and the fruit stand have gotten together to buy my own channel on YouTube, even though they're free. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Number two, Zipster. Claim to fame. Eh, let's just have him tell you. This would be called um, the Reader's Digest version of my life. This is Ginger. My daughter. Um, I had to quit all that because I was freaking out. It's Wednesday, July 19th, 2006. It's around 94.3 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And I'm um, kind of sweaty. And for our number one vlogger of 2006, Sut Steve. Claim to fame? Being the self-proclaimed 41-year-old Southern unemployed atheist virgin who loves South Park fish sticks and all things sci-fi. Steve? You may live in a trailer with your mother in your brother's backyard, but you also live in our hearts. I love you. And I'm very discreet. That tea tastes good.